Hello. Since this course is titled Marketing in the Analog World, I thought we should start off with a discussion of what we mean by the analog world and how it differs from the digital world. Those of you who are engineers, electricians, or musicians probably know that analog and digital are most commonly thought of as two different types of signals. In essence, an analog signal is continuous in nature, while a digital signal is discrete, usually expressed as zero or one. These two types of signals are quite different. For example, analog signals produce sine waves, like this, while digital signals produce square waves, like this. As an illustration of the difference between these two types of signals, let's listen to a portion of the same song using an analog device versus a digital one. The song that I like to play for this purpose is some music from my generation by the band The Talking Heads from their album Speaking in Tongues. And the song is called Burning Down the House. You may be familiar with this song. In fact, it was the Talking Heads' greatest hit of all time, reaching number nine on the Billboard 100 back in 1983. Are you ready? Well, let's begin. I'm going to start by playing this song, Burning Down the House by the Talking Heads, on this analog device, this turntable. Tell me what you think. That's our analog. Now let's listen to a digital version of the same exact song. I'll be playing this version on my Apple MacBook computer, streaming it from YouTube, a high definition version, and playing it on the same sound system that you heard the analog version. Are you ready? Let's give it a try. So what did you think of these two different types of signals? If you're like most people, you probably felt that the song played on the computer had less noise and distortion. However, you may also feel that the song played on the turntable sounded a bit warmer and perhaps more authentic. Well, that's because analog technology captures sound waves as they naturally occur, while digital technology converts these natural waves into a set of zeros and ones. Now, this conversion process helps filter out unwanted noise, but also loses some authenticity in the process. In essence, analog technology more accurately portrays a sound or a video in ways that can be both good and bad. I think this is a good analogy but how we think about the analog versus the digital world. The analog is a closer representation of reality, 
while the digital alters this reality in some way. According to my friend David Bell, who is a marketing professor at the University of Pennsylvania, the analog world provides a foundation that is amplified by the digital. Indeed, the analog is our foundation and includes everything that has not yet been digitized. Despite claims about the digital revolution, we still live in an analog world. This is the world in which we spend most of our time and devote much of our energy. Think of your typical day. If you're like most people, most of your daily activities, such as sleeping, eating, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, traveling to work or school, and kissing your sweetheart, are analog in nature. Even activities that have become digitized often have an analog component. For example, although it's now possible to buy nearly just about anything online, over 90% of all transactions are still conducted in an analog manner. Although the digital world is new and shiny, the analog world is where most things still actually happen. Part of the reason for the dominance of the analog world is simply due to our history. According to archaeologists, human civilization is about 10,000 years old. During most of this period, our lives have been solely analog in nature. The digital revolution is a recent event in our human history. It began in the early 1980s with the introduction of the personal computer, which allowed for the widespread digitization of information. Although 99% of all the information in the world is now digital, before 1980, less than 1% was in digital form. So if you needed to know some obscure fact, you would probably look it up in an encyclopedia, not browse for it on Wikipedia. Now, over the past four decades, the digital revolution has dramatically altered not just how we access information, but how we get our news, listen to music, watch movies, and talk to friends and colleagues. As time goes by, new digital technologies, such as 3D printing and augmented reality, will dramatically alter many other things in our lives. Thus, our analog foundation is being reshaped by the digital. This course will examine this process and its implications for marketing in an analog world.